Hey guys, Jado here and in this episode, I will teach you how to play as Akai. I will provide my own build, skill sequence, tips and tricks, scoop combos and gameplay. So for new players, I know you're wondering who is Akai and if he's worth the buy. So guys, let me tell you a brief info about Akai first. So Akai's role is a tank hero and his speciality is a charge card control hero. Akai is also a very durable hero, that's why his main role is a tank hero. He costs around 32,000 battle points and 599 tickets as of patch 1.1.60. So Akai has a skin called the Soccer Titan and can be obtained using the 599 diamonds or 150 skin fragments. So guys, let's move on to Akai's skills. So. Akai has 4 skills obviously, <laughs> like other heroes as well. So Akai's passive skill is called the Brute Force, um, where 2% of Akai's max HP will be converted and added to his physical attack. That's why Akai is one of the most strongest tank in the game. Buying HP items will def definitely improve Akai's durability, at the same time his damage as well so Akai's first skill is called the thousand pounder well, it has a cooldown of 14 seconds and mana cost of 50 so the mana cost is not that high it's not a problem for Akai so Akai jumps into the target area dealing physical damage to enemies when landing and slows down the enemy by 55% Basic attacks will also deal an extra 50% of damage for the next 3 second, seconds. Uh, this skill is an important utility for Akai, and Akai can use this and escape or initiate an enemy. It is also a great card control hero skill because it can slow down an enemy as well and can deal good deal I mean deal good physical damage to its targets. The second skill is called the Guardian with a Cooldown of 8.5 seconds and mana cost of 50. So Akai deals 50%, 15% of own missing HP as a physical damage to enemies in the area. Also equips self with a shield that can block up to 360 damage that lasts for 4, four seconds. This skill is way too annoying guys, especially when an Akai is dying. Just imagine dealing 50% of missing HP as physical damage to an enemy in an area. <laughs> Akai can deal huge amount of damage in just a second with this skill. So uh, Akai's ulti is called the mid tank. Akai becomes a ball in 4 seconds and starts to dash. Each hit will knock back the target and deal 50 points of magic damage. So the most this is the most annoying tank skill in the game. <laughs> Akai can turn into a ball that you can control where you can just ram enemies towards your team and bam, just kill them all. <laughs> this is an important skill combo for Akai guys. So guys, I recommend you to master the second skill first called the Guardian, then the first skill called the Thousand Pounder and the Mid Tank. Mastering the Guardian will improve the shield uh, and damage as well as the cooldown. So let's move on to the item build. So uh, my build will focus on the cooldown reduction, armor and most importantly the health. So guys, um, I'm going to start off with boots first because boots is an important uh, item in the game. It improves your movement speed which is very important for Akai to chase off an enemies or just uh, for escapes. Uh, it, it is very useful in the early game and my second item will be I mean my first item, my core item I mean, <laughs> is the Curse Helmet. It is a great for overall DPS or damage per second while making Akai durable as well because Curse Helmet gives um, bonus HP as well as magic um, armor, forgot the name. So anyway, uh, my, sec my second item is called the Oracle. It gives good HP, uh, MR or magic resistance. Ah, that's what that's what it's called, magic resistance and HP regen as well as the cooldown reduction. Great, great item for regen, guys. Um, Oracle is an important item for Akai as well, and as well as for other tanks. 
it basically improves the regen and gives a good HP that will improve Akai's uh, passive. So the third skill, I mean third item, sorry, third item is called the Courage Bulwark. It is a good support utility item which improves the team's defense, uh, also gives HP. Uh, it's, it's important guys, if no one is buying Courage Bulwark in your team, just replace it with Ice Dominance or whichever HP items you like. Uh, but this is my, uh, my build, so my next item will be Demon's Advent. Uh, this is very useful for tanks, which gives good HP as well. This item can reduce an enemy hero attacker as well, which st stacks up for 3 times up to 2 seconds. So uh, this item <laughs> is very useful if your enemy is uh, physical attack damage uh, heavy type of team where they all build uh, physical damage items. Uh, this can reduce their um, ad uh, physical damage. So my next item will be the Bloodthirsty King, it is the best item for Akai, good core item because it gives an insane amount of HP and regen. So for the abilities, I prefer Teleport or Flicker because Teleport is a very useful um, spell, especially when trying to reach an enemy, defend a base or split push, it can be also used to catch up an uh, enemy when you die as well. So for my emblem set, I use physical set for my emblem. Uh, I, I also use tank set, but my physical emblem set is more stronger. It's around 47 by now. And my tank uh, emblem set is around, I think, 25 or 27. Okay, so... So now for the combos, guys. Uh, my combo for Ake is basically just... Use your second skill first, first skill, then your ulti, or first skill, second skill, then ulti. Other advanced combos um, when using flicker spell. So you use your flicker spell first, then your first skill to jump, then use your second skill for slow ulti deal damage, then just walk in front of them, then use your ulti. That's it. That's my combo for Akai, guys. Uh, feel free to try other combos, maybe you'll make up one yourself. So my tips for Akai always try to zone an enemy, try to force them to stay away from the minion wave guys so that they won't get XP. And as a tank role guys, always go in front. Just protect your protect your team guys and try to always prevent your ally carry to die by just um, tanking the damage and absorbing damage. And you can use your first skill to escape away from the enemy team. It can also jump obstacles, uh, but it's way it's limited, okay. Try, just try to experiment some of it and always jump in front of the enemy team so that you can use your ulti to ram push them towards your team. I hope this video helped a lot you guys uh, for those who are, who are planning to buy Akai. I hope this video helped you to decide whether you'll buy Akai or not um, and for Akai players I hope that you already know this and I hope that it somehow, somehow helped you build Akai or I at least play Akai so guys thank you guys for watching and please do leave a like and subscribe for those who are new in this channel please support me by giving that like button and comment down in the comment section below of what you think about Akai so see you guys in my next video and JDL here see you guys goodbye